Vicki and welcome to my channel and I have Amazon Prime order here and guess what it is well you know what you're gonna know by the thumbnail and the title it's Halloween costumes now you're gonna think I'm a real net job when you see this because I bought the same costume three times just different versions of it because I want it to be just right. I want it to be something that I could wear all day and be comfortable and wouldn't fall apart. So I didn't want a super cheesy one, but yet I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. I have tubs of costumes that I make for myself, but this is the costume I've wanted to have for years. So let me start with the accessory that will not give it away. <clears throat> I don't think. So I bought a pair of shoes to go with this and I did slip my foot in it thinking, Will it work? And almost works. Uh, they're size 9, so they're definitely big enough. But I can't have any pressure here. And there's just a little bit on one toe. But they look kind of like shoes people wear who dance. And they may be, for all I know. But I thought that they would go with the you know, what I'm going to do. Because flip-flops probably aren't going to cover it. And that's what I wear most of the time. So these are by Capizzi. I don't really have a invoice. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to try the shoes again with a nylon or stocking or something and see if they fit a little better. Speaking of, there they are. Yeah. I got that really stretched out. I thought these would be smaller, like that look. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe on. Some people they are small and some people they're large. Which part should I look at next? Let's look at this one. Ta-da! There's the costume. Yes, I want to be a flapper. I wanted to be a flapper for several years. And that's one version of it. Oh, that's an accessory. I'm going to pull out all the flapper ones at one time. That's an accessory. Sorry, maybe that's an accessory. I love, no, wait, no, that's the other dress. Okay, then that's, is that the same one? No, okay. Here's the other dress. Now, this one's the one with the diagonal, which I thought was cute. This one is, has the fringe all over it. A little bit above the knee, though. But sometimes these models are really tall, so. And then the last one, ooh, this doesn't look like what I saw in the picture. The picture's terrible there because it's behind the plastic. This one actually had sleeves, but they're showing it sleeveless here. And this actually seems like it might be a nice dress. Oh yeah, this isn't just Halloween quality. I mean, <clears throat> yes it is, but not your typical Halloween. And this is called a 3XL. The sizes were all over the place for Halloween costumes. But here it is. I don't know, the light will probably never get this showing oh that doesn't look big enough does it does that look plus size i don't know but it does have the sleeves Let's see how beaded and beautiful this is isn't that pretty i mean you could wear this as a dress and then the bottom well <laughs> if you don't mind fringe a fringe at the bottom of your dress i guess oh and it's um it's got sequins and beads on the body and then the bottom of it, where the fringe is, if you'll notice, it's not scallop, but has like diamond shapes. Look at that. This is really pretty. It does have some stretch. I don't know. We'll see. I think it'll be too small. I did read the size chart, so. And the comments that everybody made. So this is beautiful. I would not necessarily know that this is a Halloween costume. There's a picture they've included. But, um, yeah, they show it sleeveless and it is not that's not really even the same dress now that I'm looking at it because <laughs> that one has gold sequins of course this may have come in different colors but so that's very nice that's very encouraging except for the size all right so let's try the one with the diagonal because I really liked it too okay it's that satiny kind of 
stuff. Very Halloweenish. Does it only have fringe at the bottom? Oh, please tell me that's not the case. What is this? Oh, that's some um, a little something with sequins on it. I don't know. Some kind of accessory. Okay. This dress is inside out. That's very weird. Ooh, I almost got caught on my bracelet there. Okay. All right, so this has some gold. Did it show that? Oh, I guess it did. I don't remember seeing any gold, but apparently, let's see. Ooh, with all this fringe, it's hard to... That must be an arm. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, so it's got a scoop neck. Is this is gold in the front? Yes. I am going to put my arms in here like I'm a hanger. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it's got a gold. Oh, it does have fringe all the way. The reason it looked like it didn't have fringe is because the dress was inside out. It's a little bit sheer, so definitely would need black undies. Uh, I think it would fit. It kind of feels like it would fit. It has some shimmy, and I love the diagonal bottom of it that... This gives it a little something something extra. I don't put that one in there yet. And then this is the kind of the plainest of them and I think the least expensive. And one that I would concern me that I wouldn't be able to wear all day long from the things I read that it's, you know, for a number of hours. But all right, it's another one that's inside out. No, no, it's not. I was gonna say maybe that's a flapper thing. Okay, so this one has sequins at the neck too, but they're black. Well, it definitely looks like it would fit, although it does look a little short. Um, I'll be a hanger again. It's got a lot of nice fringe. Not as nice as that one, probably. Yeah, they don't quite meet as well, but that's pretty at the top there. So it'll be, hopefully, one of these three will fit. Uh-oh, which one did this come out of? If I return these, I got to get them back, right? For the right. Oh, this one came with this one, the little headdress thing. That thing. But you know what? The accessory, where's the feather? <laughs> like a goofball. Um, I don't know if I care so much for the accessories that come with them, so I ordered them separately. Alright, I'm going to keep these dresses with their packages. Alright, so let's look at some of the accessories. So, I've opened my package of accessories. And this almost looks like a whole other dress or something. What the heck is this? Ooh, it's feathers. Feathers? Oh, I think it's a boa. Yes. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I do like <laughs> like it. Okay. All right. It's a little it's a little big for being crossed over in the front. <laughs> oh, the chickens that died for that. Uh, another headpiece. Ooh, yes, the old flapper pearls for sure. And a flapper wrist. Fan thing, a bracelet out of pearls. Yes. And what's this one? <gasps> These are gloves. <laughs> yep. Gloves. Let's see. Let's see which hand. Oh, I better take my ring off. See if these fit me. Because they don't have the gloves aren't part of any plus size thing. They're just, you know, the, oh yeah, they fit. Just the accessory packet. Let's try this. Oh yes. I just feel all, what is that actress? Audrey Hepburn or something? Oh, and one more thing cigarette holder. 
I wonder if I open this if I'm stuck with buying it once I open it. I don't know. Oh, okay. Put your lips on it. Oh, wait, wait. There's earrings, which are kind of art deco y looking. And finally, <laughs> yeah. This accessory wasn't part of this package. This is sold separately. And let's see how this goes. Okay, so, okay. It is a headpiece that also has a little feather attachment thing. But the beaded part, not crazy about the color of the gold. You know, um, it's interesting because when I lived in Kodiak, I worked for a tribal museum, the Aleutic Museum, and they made these out of beads and the Aleutic dancers wore them. It's a traditional gar Eskimo garment. Kind of interesting. Kind of similar to, very similar to how this is made. Oh, it's probably too small, which is weird. I don't think of myself as having a big head. Well, not in dimensions, maybe in other ways. Oh wait, that's going down a little. Feels like it's popping up on me, it's on my ears. How's it supposed to fit? Anybody know how these are supposed to fit? There's no photo. <laughs> I bet it doesn't look good with glasses. <laughs> and then this light goes on the side. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Am I looking all flapper to you? So let me go try on the dresses and see how they fit. And maybe you can help me decide which one to keep and which ones to send back. So, I'm starting with the least expensive. It's actually pretty comfortable. <coughs> Excuse me. And it fits pretty well. It's probably snug here, but with all this on here, you don't really notice. If I was feeling better, I'd be dancing. <laughs> so I just threw in a couple of the accessories. I do not have on the nylons, the fishnets, because I don't want to try them on unless I'm going to keep one of the dresses. I don't want to open them in case I'm just not keeping a dress and I would send them back. So anyway, so this is the first dress, and I believe this is the least expensive one. This is from California Costumes. Yes, I believe this is, sorry, I believe this is the least expensive. <clears throat> I knew I was going to lose my voice if I tried to do this. Um, the least expensive and the least amount of good reviews. It's not a bad review, it's just they're saying this is just something you would wear for the evening. And uh, I would probably wear it all day at work, so that's why I went with a couple other choices too. And let's go try one of those. Okay, the second dress. And uh, this was like the medium price and got much better reviews than the first one. However, I'm telling you, I think the first one felt better made and is a little bit more comfortable. This one I can really see the underneath of it. I can, maybe because it's just shinier fabric. So I wore the boa from the kit and the little barrette thing from the kit. I don't know how you're supposed to wear this thing, so I just stuck it in there like that for now. Um, <clears throat> And um, <coughs> this did come with a headband that you wear around that's just a plain sequence headband thing. Uh, so it's pretty plain. So I just put this one on instead. Oh, and it was super tight. That's right. <laughs> no, the one in the kit that was the headband with the jewel was super tight. I took it off. Plus, it was silver. This has gold here. You know, being weird. This is silver and gold here. <laughs> But, uh, so, this is it. I don't know. I think I like the other one better. Oh, and this is supposed to have that hem. I think these are all 3X. And this one's definitely feels bigger than the other one. It's supposed to have that angled hem there. I don't know if you can see this. But I'm not really getting that. Ooh. <laughs> right out of my shoe. Too much Benadryl. 
Uh, <coughs> and if it is, it's very slight. And I think it looks shorter in the back because of my bum. But yeah, this one's not as comfortable as the first one. And it doesn't seem as well made. I mean, they're both costumes, right? Halloween costumes. But I just noticed this had a bunch of fringe hanging down pretty low. So but this is what it looks like up close. So let's go try on the last one, which is kind of a fancy, dancy dress. Okay, this is the beaded dress, not fringed, and um, the most expensive of the three. And it is a beautiful dress, but unfortunately it didn't, I don't think it had quite the size range, so as you can tell it's too tight around the midsection. But it is a beautiful dress. It doesn't feel like a costume, it doesn't really look like a costume. I mean, yeah, I mean this is, you know, a little bit cheesier if you were buying a, a, a gown, you probably wouldn't have that quality of stuff but I mean look at all this beading and stuff that's on here I mean it's really for a Halloween costume very nice I think it's $50 or something maybe but maybe it's a little less than that uh, <coughs> if it was a uh, size larger then it wouldn't be so snug and maybe be a little longer because you can see how it's kind of these little diamond shaped things down here and they go up pretty high <laughs> So you'd be showing some leg in this, so if it were a bigger size, I think it would lay lower. But anyway, so I put on the gloves from the set, the hat, and the thing I was wearing last time goes with this hat, I guess. I don't think I'm wild about the hat, and certainly don't like the color of it. I think I'd rather just get a little bob wig. So there you go. Look one, two, or three. Thanks for bearing with me when I can hardly talk. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been sick all weekend. So <clears throat> anyway, um, so I tried on all three, and uh, here's the look how big they make the fishnets look. I guess I just stretched it in there to look like that. I don't know. Anyway, but I'll be keeping those or trying those on at least because I did decide on a dress. Before we get to that, though, let's talk about this stuff accessories. This is a very nice piece. It has a barrette that clips on. And it clipped on this, <coughs> excuse me, this headpiece, which is nicely made. Uh, the gold color is a little, mm, not great, but you know what? It's a Halloween costume. It's not like I'm wearing it to a Christmas dance or something. And this on top of that looked, I thought it looked nice together. So. But I'm going to send this back because I don't really like the head thing on me so much. I think I'd rather have a weight. I think I mentioned that when I was trying to on. The other accessory kit is a real bonus, a real bargain. It has this boa, which will definitely going to keep this kit. It has the long pearl necklace, which is a must have, and the and the pearl. <coughs> Sorry, the pearl thingy, you know bracelet and then this this is super tight <laughs> uh, I don't think I could wear this but if I'm wearing a wig I probably don't need it anyway I could probably just take cut this here and sew it and then just pin it onto the wig somehow or something make it work or even cut this string it through the wig and sew it in so it looks like I'm wearing this when I'm not really and then another part of this kit was the long gloves. They are a little tight near the top, but I can make them work. And I always kind of like that look of when they're kind of wrinkled up anyway. You know, I, I don't think in the flapper days they did that, but you know, where they have this wrinkled up look like that. I've always liked that. <laughs> when I've worn long gloves, I've always done that to them. And, don't wear long gloves a lot, and they're certainly not black ones usually. But. And then it comes with these earrings that are were pretty retro, and uh, I think that'll work. And it's silver, so this all will kind of match. And then this. And what's interesting about the cigarette holder, i got to find someone who smokes so I can borrow a cigarette, <laughs> um, is that they call it a beatnik cigarette holder. Now, see, I thought beatniks were in the 60s a little but not 
I don't know. It shows this guy. He doesn't look like a beatnik to me, nor does she. <laughs> so I'm a little confused by the marketing that they used on it, but it's okay. I like the cigarette holder. I think it'll add to the costume. So that is the accessory kit, which I am going to keep. I'm going to try the shoes on again. Um, I only had them on for just a moment. And I just have a real high nail bed, I guess. A lot of shoes press down on the top of my toes and they're uncomfortable. But I might give it a try because I don't know that I have any shoes that would make sense with fishnet stockings. Uh, all the shoes I have would look ridiculous with fishnet stockings. Sorry, that was probably really noisy. So, the dresses. <coughs> Let's start with the most expensive one. The last one that I tried on that. But it was very nicely made and I really liked it and if it was a size or two bigger I think it would have been great. I think they're all in 3x but this one obviously runs <coughs> smaller. I know costumes run small that's why I purchased everything in a 3x but this one will be going back. Uh, this is the one that had the diagonal the second one I tried on the mid medium price one and I had the highest hopes for this one in fact when I got saw this one I almost canceled my order for this one. And this one actually has a pretty good fit, but I just don't think it's as nice a quality actually as the least expensive one, which the fit is okay. It's, um, I like the fit on this one a little better, but it's fine for a costume to wear one day. It's fine. So anyway, so I think I'm going to be keeping this one, which just surprised the heck out of me because I almost tossed it out of my basket when I found this one. In fact, that's the whole reason I have three is because I got this one, I was going to buy it, and I saw this one and said, wait a minute. And then I thought, well, why don't I get one more and I'll just do a try on. So that's what I've done. So I picked number one. You tell me which one you would pick. If they fit right, tell me the difference in, as you saw them and if they had a better, you know, a better fit. Because it's hard to judge number three against the others if it doesn't fit right, right? So anyway, have a hate, uh, a safe and happy Halloween. <laughs> Trying to talk, but I've like got Benadryl ahead. Uh, what a weekend. See you soon. Thanks for watching. I hope that you'll like and subscribe. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. I can't talk. <sighs> you know what?